15 years ago we made our first safari and from that moment on we were hooked. There's a world of difference between seeing African animals in the zoo and the very first moment when you come up close to a herd of elephants with no fences between. You'll feel an unequaled thrill. Follow us in a series on Tanzania through Tarangiri, Lake Manyara, Nagoro Nagoro Crater, Serengeti and Sulus. Starting with Tarangiri, home of elephants. Tarangiri means river of warthogs and is most famous for its elephants, bird watching and abundance of baobab trees. The permanent Tarangiri river that crosses the park is the primary source of fresh water for wild animals and it keeps the view green during the dry season. You can expect a wide variety of mammals, the grazers and the predators. These male elephants do the elephant equivalent of arm wrestling. They figure out dominance by fighting. This fighting can range from mild playful pushing to raging battles to the death. Elephants have minimal hair and sweat glands. They find it difficult to cool off under the harsh African sun. The mud not only cools them down, it also provides a protective layer on their body to shield them from the insect bites and the sun. Their skin looks very tough but it's very sensitive and can get sunburned. Elephants spray mud all over themselves with their trunks. Therefore, when they drink water, they squirt back the first sip. The newborn elephant suckles by using the mouth, not the trunk. One grazer you will not miss is the plains zebra, where each zebra has a unique pattern of spots, which extends over the abdomen. After a gestation period of one year, the zebra gives birth to one fowl, which can run within an hour of birth. Everybody knows the warthog Pumba from the Disney classic The Lion King. They have very distinct tusks, which reach a length of 25 to 64 centimeters in the males, but are always smaller in the females. The Maasai giraffe, named after the ethnic group, is the largest subspecies of giraffe. It has distinctive, irregular, jagged, star-like blotches that extend to the hoofs. Giraffe is derived from the Arabic xirafa and means he who runs fast. The giraffe uses his tongue not only for eating, but also to keep the nose clean. Red-billed oxpeckers feed on ticks and other parasites that they glean from the bodies of large mammals.
the black face and the grey body hair of the vervet monkey gives them a sweet appearance. But if you don't look, they rob anything edible. The females of the olive baboon have one young per litter, which they carry with them for a few days. The name is derived from its coat color, which is a shade of green-gray at a distance. The tail almost looks as if it's broken. The olive baboon lives in groups of 15 to 150, made up of a few males, many females and their young. The common waterbuck inhabits areas close to sources of water and is mostly found on grassland. The waterbuck is one of the heaviest antelopes. Males can weigh up to 260 kilos. And only they have horns, which can grow up to one meter long. Predators evade them, because their water repellent skin contains a very unpleasant odor. Impala is one of the most common antelope species. It is bushmeat to many predators, but thrives very well. This is a harem of only females. Grant's gazelle lives together with Thompson's gazelle. These are two males of the Kirk's Dick Dick since only the males have horns. Though dig digs are pretty small, they're not the tiniest of African antelope. Dig digs are named for the alarm calls of the female, dig dig. Dwarf mongooses take over abandoned termite mounds, its favorite sleeping place. It's a highly social species that live in extended family groups of 2 to 30 animals. They mainly eat insects, small lizards and snakes. Black-backed jackals are omnivores. Hippopotamus means horse of the river. This African lion was spotted from our lodge. Don't forget the birds. Tarangiri is home to more than 550 bird species. A lilac breasted roller eating an insect. The lilac breasted roller has eight colors on his body and is the national bird of both Kenya and Botswana. 
representing the many different tribes. African hoopoe. Their call sounds like the name. Hoopoe! The grey crowned crane is crowned with a golden fan and has a majestic head. Here with two chicks, stamping their feet as they walk, they floss out insects, which are quickly caught and eaten. The southern red bishop are brightly colored only in the breeding season. The kingfisher is one of the most colorful birds. Hammerkop. The shape of its head with a long bill and crest at its back looks like a hammer. Secretary bird, who kicks snakes to death with his claws. The Maasai ostrich is a red-necked subspecies variety of the common ostrich. It is the largest flightless bird and also the fastest at 70 km an hour. The rooster breeds at night and the hen during the day for the best use of their colors. It often feeds in shallow water, spearing fish or frog with its long sharp bill. Leopard tortoise belongs to the little five, sometimes eats hyena poo for lime. Get up early to see the glowing orange orb of the rising sun, pushing its way into view over the horizon. Next week we will show a special on the majestic elephants of this park. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next video. Dream, explore and, and travel, travel with us! us.